Hey again guys and welcome back. Uh, today I want to talk to you about probably my favorite Arduino board, these little uh, DigiSpark or DigiSpark clone boards. Now these things are extremely cheap, uh, I think it's about a buck fifty Canadian, about a buck American, something around that, that you can find these on eBay. I buy them in packs of 10. And yeah, there's only six pins here, but that's kind of what this video is about, is that you can expand the capability of these things because these things do SPI and I squared C. What do I mean by that? So SPI and I squared C are just communication um, protocols. So basically, you take your little chip here that's uh, on this DigiSpark, and it actually communicates with other modules, and those other modules can do all sorts of other things. A lot of stuff that I buy, I prefer buying um, I squared C because I squared C requires only two connections from the Arduino to the module, but SPI has its advantages too. I just don't use it, so I'm not quite sure of what they are. So only two pins on the Arduino, um, the DigiSpark here, can actually control a whole bunch of things. For example, this OLED here, you see these pins, ground VCC, you can grab those from your power supply or you can grab them from the DigiSpark. SCL and SDA. So those are the two I squared C lines. So with two lines, you can actually run this OLED on the Arduino. Same thing with this real time clock module here. You will see SCL and SDA. Same thing with this uh, PWM um, servo expander. So you can actually daisy chain a whole bunch of these and control a whole ton of servos with just your DigiSpark. Same thing with um, this here. This module is the LED matrixy module. It has some sort of communication. I'm not sure if this is SPI, but it's something similar, at least it seems. Um, you've got these massive LCDs, and they also have a little I squared C backpack to control them. And this guy here has SPI communication. Yeah, SDA, SCK, Mozzie, Miso, etc. So you can run these things off this tiny little dollar chip, which is incredible. So I'm going to set up a little sketch and maybe we'll see if we can get uh, something running here. And it's as simple as this to make your connections. So for I squared C, which is the way I prefer to do it, you just tie uh, P0 to SDA and P2 to SCL. I have a little graphic on the side here that shows you pretty much you Google um, uh, DigiSpark pinout and that's the graphic that it gives you but some people like it more cleaned up so this is why I'm making individual examples for your SPI uh, P2 becomes your serial clock P1 your meso and P0 your mozzie and then for your 5 volts and ground you can pick them up right from your either your breadboard power supply or you can pick it up right here there's the 5 volt pin and there's the ground pin and uh, the little built-in regulator can, can, you know, supply a little bit of current, but if you have more than one easy small device, like, like one OLED, you probably want to use a separate power supply. Also, if you are powering this simply from the USB, it is my understanding that this is straight through from the USB and won't be going through the regulator, so you should be okay in that case. Now, I have a nice big LCD and we'll see if we can make it work with I squared C. And truly this is the beauty of the DigiSpark with the I squared C. Um, just the liquid crystal I squared C library, I just opened up the uh, hello world sketch and everything in here will just work as long as your SDA and SCL are on the right pins. I also set the address here for my LCD and I set the fact that it's a 20 character by four line display. And then this here will just go and print a little bit of default text. And this is all I need to do. You just upload to the Arduino and it'll work as expected. Let me upload this one and I'll show you that. And if I plug this in, this should just work. Plugging it in now. The DigiSpark does have a little bit of time to boot up and that's why uh, you have to plug it in after the program is done compiling. But there we go. So there's the uh, YW robot Arduino uh, default sketch and it just works. There's literally nothing else plugged into this Arduino. There's nothing else into the code. 
The DigiSparks do come with uh, examples for I squared C, but um, I tried this LCD uh, I squared C example, and I wasn't very happy with it because um, my I squared C regular library is in fact the same uh, name, and therefore it wouldn't allow the DigiSpark to work. So the libraries that are specific to the DigiSpark don't work for me, but the libraries that work for any Arduino do. So maybe your code will be a little bit less efficient, but it'll still work. And you can use this for all sorts of I squared C devices. It's not just the LCD. I do have this OLED here, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it because of the bright lights, but this one works as well, just with the default OLED I squared C example. Don't know if you can read that, but if you have kids, I think that'll be relevant to you. So this works with pretty much everything. And so going forward, I'll make individual videos on all these I squared C modules. So you have a good idea of what your DigiSpark can do. But I hope this video at least inspired you to order some of these cheap boards because these things can do pretty much everything that the Uno can, but with just fewer pins available and also at about a fifth the price. Thanks for watching.